Hello, YouTube friends. Joe, to work commitments. I've been traveling recently and haven't been able to update. But now that I am back, it's time to get back to work. I know many of you are eager to hear specific strategies and techniques, but today I want to focus on the theoretical side. After all, theory is the foundation of success. No matter what we do, I'm not particularly good at making videos, so I usually stick to simple PowerPoint presentations. Today, this presentation is no exception, straightforward but full of valuable insights. I firmly believe that having a strong theoretical foundation is essential for effective practice. Weishin is essential for effective practice. Let's start with the law of large numbers. This concept is likely familiar to many of you, as it a cornerstone of probability theory. Take Baccarat as an example. As the number of rounds increases, the ratio of banker and player wins will approach 50%. No matter how lucky or unlucky you've been in the short term, in the long run, the results will even out. This is an undeniable fact confirmed by countless instances of data. Why do casinos shuffle more frequently and alter their shuffling methods? It's because the more hands that are dealt, the more random the outcomes become, making patterns harder to detect. You might have experienced long streaks of banker or player wins, but as the number of rounds increases, those streaks and alternating patterns will become less frequent. This isn't a coincidence. Kwan's a direct result of the randomization process which aligns with the law of large numbers. Perpert, luck is just a short-term fluctuation in an otherwise balanced game. Next, we'll explore the law of small numbers, which complements the law of large numbers. Some players may see nine consecutive banker wins and mistakenly believe that the next round will most likely favor the player. This is a classic example of the gambler's fallacy. In reality, each round's probability remains 50% for both banker and player, regardless of past outcomes. The law of small numbers highlights the unpredictability of short-term results, reminding us that each round is independent of the last. Why is this important? If you don't understand these principles, you might find yourself lost in the casino, falling into psychological traps. We often believe that we discovered a pattern, when in fact, it's just an illusion. The house thrives on exploiting this misconception. The law of small numbers teaches us that every round is independent, and past outcomes don't influence future results. This understanding is crucial for avoiding the pitfalls of gambling. Once we understand these concepts, how do we apply them? Gambling is not purely about luck. You might win a few rounds in the short term, but over the long term only, those who adhere to logical probability, base strategies will come out on top. That's why it's essential to approach each bet with a clear, rational strategy, rather than relying on gut feelings. Now let's dive into permutations in Baccarat, specifically the two-road, three-road, and four-road patterns. These combinations provide valuable insights for betting strategies. First, we have the two-road pattern, where two consecutive rounds are analyzed. Banker, banker, player, player, banker, player. And two-road banker, the probability of consecutive banker or player wins is 50% and the probability of alternating wins is also 50%. At this point, you might feel like it, all too random to predict, but this randomness actually holds the key to better betting decisions. Next is the three-row pattern, where three consecutive rounds are considered. There are eight possible outcomes. Banker, 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 player, player, banker, banker, and so on. In this case, the probability of consecutive wins drops to 25%, while the probability of mixed outcomes rises to 75%. This pattern reveals an interesting shift as the number of rounds increases. The likelihood of long streaks decreases and irregular outcomes become more common. Finally, there is the four-road pattern, which has 16 possible outcomes. By this point, the probability of consecutive wins has dropped to 12.5%, while the probability of mixed results has risen to 87.5%. This demonstrates that long streaks are statistically unlikely and irregular patterns dominate the game. This insight is crucial for informed betting. 
Long streaks are rare and non-consecutive patterns are far more common. Why are these permutations so important? They help us make more rational betting decisions. Gambling isn't just about luck, it's about understanding and leveraging probabilities. Before placing a bet, you should have a solid rationale. When you see a streak of banker wins, don't assume that the player will win next. Like is when you encounter a long streak, not expect it to continue indefinitely. That's it for today's lesson. While this was mostly theoretical, I believe it will help you make more informed decisions at the tables. Next time, I will dive deeper into specific betting strategies, helping you apply these theories in practice.